Monica Crystal Young and welcome to our first show. For our first show, our topic is going to be, guess what, cougars. <laughs> what does this term mean besides a big cat? Well, I looked it up and the name basically means an older woman who searches for and dates much younger men. Actually, not searches but prowls. It's not a pretty picture that is being painted, let me tell you that. Why are women being labeled? Is it flattering or flat out degrading? Men have been dating much younger women for centuries. There is no label for them. To get some perspective and varying opinion on the subject, this first show will introduce a few of our cougar correspondents and their whole take on the cougar labeling business. So just to dive right in, we take you to Dr. Debbie, the scuba shrink, who will no doubt have some great thoughts for us. Debbie, what do you think about this whole cougar labeling thing? You know, no one's quite sure where the slang use of this word originated, but there is rumor that it originated in Canada at a pub where older women were going and appeared to be pursuing younger men. The regulars at the bar felt the persistent hunt by these women of younger men reminded them of a cougar. Well, you know, being a psychiatrist and an extreme scuba diver, I like to get beneath the surface and find out what's really going on. The term cougar is being used in most cases for recently divorced women, somewhere in the age range of 35 to 55, who admire the attention of younger men and who enjoy being independent. Women who are independent and basically confident enough to know what they want, younger men in this case, and go after it, have an animal label. I guess we have to be on a mission with this show, which is to change the meaning of this label. Looking a bit deeper at the evolution of women's stature in our culture, from that of being seen as less than a man to being seen as equal to a man, the term cougar seems to reflect some unresolved unconscious conflicts that perhaps men and women still share, i.e., is it okay for women to pursue men, or must they always be waiting to be pursued? I think women and men are still unsure about this. Maybe both sexes can enjoy being both the hunter and the hunted. Each role has its appeal from time to time, don't you think? Yes, Deb, I think every woman out there can relate to that. Sometimes we just want someone to pay attention and take the lead. I think that's normal, but other times we just want to be in charge and take control. And there's nothing wrong with that either. Why not share the rejection, I always say. It doesn't mean you are any specific type of woman or that the man is any less of a man. It just means that you know what you want and there is nothing wrong with that. So people, we want your viewpoint on the whole cougar thing. We want your cougar stories, good and bad, your opinion on what is a cougar. We will pull some of the best stories and maybe you'll appear on Cougar News as a guest or we'll read your story on the air. This goes for everyone now, men and women. You're entitled to your opinion and we want to hear it. This is Veronica Crystal Young saying to all the women out there, at any age, you are young, beautiful, wise, and powerful. And youth is in your passions. Go and get it. Good night.